What's going on, everybody? I am back with another Prize Picks NBA Player Props video. Going to be breaking it down, giving you guys five picks to get you win some money over here on Prize Picks. As always, if you haven't signed up for Prize Picks, would highly recommend you do so. It is a player props website where you can win money off of picking the over and under on things like players' points, assists, rebounds, points, rebounds, assists, three pointers made, etc. Go ahead and use that promo code KJKDFS to receive an instant match deposit up to $100 today. Again, that is code KJKDFS. Go ahead and lock that in. Get that free money offer and start winning some money over here on Prize Picks, guys. So let's get into it. We got two teams that are facing a 3 1 deficit the Chicago Bulls and the Denver Nuggets. It's do or die for them. So we're going to be taking advantage of some of their props. Um, the guys that I expect to be running out there for a full lot in a minute to the guys that are going to have to, you know, quite frankly, do it all if their teams are going to have any chance of surviving. So that's going to be kind of the theme of the video you can see as we go along here, but for good reason. Uh, and the first game we want to talk about is the Chicago Bulls taking on the Milwaukee Bucks here. Quick little disclaimer, guys. Obviously, if you are interested in the premium content, you can check it out. Uh, Patreon.com slash KJK underscore DFS. Yesterday, we had Jimmy Butler as a pick, and he got ruled out. And that completely changed the dynamic of the slate, obviously. Uh, the Miami Heat were without Kyle Lowry and Jimmy Butler. So a lot of the stuff that I said uh, in the video did not apply. Sometimes weird stuff like that happens. Um, you know, I always update all my projections, my core plays, all that fun stuff over here on the premium content that you get access to the discord to ask me questions. Uh, if for any reason, anything like that happens, which let's be honest, the NBA stuff like that happens all the time. It seems even the playoffs, we were kind of relying on it to be a little bit more predictable. And look at that. Jimmy Butler was with that with a knee injury. So, um, you know, things change. I, I can't control that after I record, but, uh, we're going to go over the best picks with all the data that we have right now with what is expected to happen. Things do change, but, you know, just a little bit of a, a disclaimer there. But the first game is going to be the Chicago Bulls taking on the Milwaukee Bucks. This game comes with a 12-point spread in favor of the Milwaukee Bucks, a 218 over-under. And the Chicago Bulls have their back against the wall, and now they're expected to be without Zach Levine. Uh, Zach Levine entered health and safety protocols. He's not expected to play in Game 5, so they already had their backs against the wall, and now they just lost. One of their best players on their team, so that is unfortunate for them. But the good news is that's going to funnel a lot of the usage to two guys in this offense, and I think we've been taking advantage of it tonight. Number one, it's obvious, but i got to say it's DeMar DeRozan, 27.5 points. I like the over here for DeMar DeRozan. I think he goes out there and drops 30 in this game, even if they end up losing. I mean, this guy's just going to shoot a ton. He was already shooting a ton as is throughout the series, and now you take Zach Levine off the floor. I mean, 20 shots last time out, 9 the time before, but then you look at the two games before, uh, 25 and 31 shot attempts. I mean, I'm expecting him to get back up more towards that 31 mark in this game because, quite frankly, I, I, you take Zach Levine out of the equation, you know, what else are they going to do? They have to try to survive here. They're going to do it on DeMar DeRozan's back. I mean, the guy's the best scorer on the team, hands down now, and uh, there's not going to be any question as to who should be getting the most shots. I like the over 27 and a half points for DeMar DeRozan tonight. And second, same thing for his teammate in Nikola Vucevic. He's going to be the second guy in order here, uh, with there being no Zach Levine, also going to be relied on to carry the load and score a lot of points. And once again, facing elimination, I mean, the guy's got to step up, but I do like his over point as well, over 19 and a half. Cleared this the first two games very easily, 19 points the time before, and then last time out kind of laid a dud. But uh, once again, you take Levine off the floor. I mean, look at the shot volume that Levine was taking up before. Uh, 18, 13, 13, 19. Those shots are going to automatically funnel elsewhere. Uh, and I expect them to funnel all to DeMar DeRozan and Nikola Vucevic. You know, I mean, they got to score. They're the two studs on the team now. And if they don't score, their team has, stands no chance. So I think it's pretty obvious as to what the game plan is going to be here. It's going to be Vucevic, DeMar DeRozan, really trying to keep their team in the series. I think they're going to be gunning it a ton. Uh, and I like the over 19.5 points for Nikola Vucevic in this one. Third on the list, we're going to be heading on down to the other game. Once again, an elimination game for the Denver Nuggets. A 225 and a half over under here with a nine point spread in favor of the Golden State Warriors. And once again, a team that is facing elimination in the Denver Nuggets. They're going to have to do everything they can to try to stay in it, which is obviously, you know, going to make them lean on their main stud in Nikola Jokic. And uh, another th situation where I think he really has to score here. He has been scoring at a very high rate in this series. They've got his line set at 29 and a half. I like the over here. Put up 37 points the last two times out, and I don't expect it to be much different here. You know, win or lose, Jokic is going to have to do everything he possibly can to keep his team in the series. And uh, they've been really relying on him to be the scoring punch for his team. 20, 25, 22, 21 points, and he's very efficient. We know that uh, from watching him throughout the season. 
He can shoot the three ball. He can get to the free throw line. He can shoot the mid-range. He can shoot inside. He can do it all. Uh, and he's playing 38 minutes, you know, in competitive games here. And regardless of whether the game, you know, once again, they need they need to win to, to stay in this. So I expect him to play in the upper 30s once again. And I expect him to be able to go out there and pl put up 30-plus points. So I do like the over on Nikola Jokic points. And uh, I do like two of his teammates as well, once again, with them facing elimination. Uh, one is going to be Will Barton. And I do like the over points, rebounds, and assists for Will Barton. They've got the line set at 21.5 over here on prize picks. Uh, he's cleared that in four of his last five games. Only one he didn't was the last time out against the Golden State Warriors where he only put up 12 points, rebounds, and assists. But do expect him to be out there on the floor for the upper 30s in minutes at least, um, if not 40-plus here. I mean, he's played you know 36, 31, 34, 32 minutes uh, each of the series. I'm expecting him to be out there in the upper 30s in this competitive game. They need to win once again. So they've been really reliant on Will Barton to play lots of minutes and produce. He does get rebounds. He does get assists. He does get points. He does do it all. You can see 13, 5, and 4, 12, 2, and 10, 24, 5, and 6, 16, 4, and 4. So he is a guy that's well-rounded in his peripheral stats as far as, you know, points, rebounds, and assists. I do like the over points, rebounds, and assists for Will Barton tonight. And lastly, the other guy I expect him to roll out for lots of minutes uh, trying to win this game is going to be Aaron Gordon. Aaron Gordon, once again, a guy that I expect to play in the mid-30s and minutes. And once again, a guy that does get it done in all categories. Uh, 21 points, 4 assists, 6 rebounds. 18 points, 4 assists, 12 rebounds. Uh, 7 points as a bad scoring game for him, but still 3 assists, 5 rebounds. 8 points, 5 rebounds in game 1. That was a terrible game for him. Then you go back to the regular season, 22 points, 2 assists, and 5 rebounds. Uh, once again, I do think the points, rebounds, and assists line is pretty friendly for Aaron Gordon over here. He has cleared this line pretty easily in... Um, his last two games, 31 and 34 respectively. I think 24 and a half points rebounds and assists is just simply too low for a guy that's expected to play in the mid to upper 30s. Once again, they're going to rely on him to, you know, kind of produce here, keep them in the series. So I do like the over 24 and a half points rebounds and assists for Aaron Gordon. And those are going to be my five picks for this prize picks video today, guys. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, would be greatly appreciated if you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future content that I upload. The like goal on this video is going to be 200 likes as always. If you haven't signed up for prize picks, once again, use that promo code KJKDFS to receive that instant match deposit up to $100. Go ahead and lock these picks in and start winning some money today. And uh, if you want to check out the premium content, go ahead and check it out. You get access to my tools, my projections, the Discord, my core plays, all of that fun stuff. Uh, and once again, you can kind of adjust to the news over there as things come out, whereas you can't so much after a video is recorded and published to YouTube. So um, wishing you guys all the best of luck tonight, and we will see you in the next one.